closure. You did start me being a mom now. Sorry, but I didn't make that choice. That was a choice you made. I didn't say, hey, you're going to be my mom. <laughs> you said, hey, Actually, I'm going to keep you. No, 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 no. Yes. No, 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 no. When you came out. No, 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 no. That's I'm not your, mom. your responsibility. <laughs> you said, I'm going to keep this one. That's a you problem. That's a you problem. <laughs> so no matter what you say to me for the rest of your life, it's still a me problem because I chose. You continuously <laughs> chose to keep me. You said it all the time. I brought you into this world. I could take you no, out. No, I did it. Yes, you did. Okay, I apologize for saying that. Yeah, that is pretty fucked up. very weird. You said that all the time when we were kids. As a joke, probably, because... Oh, well, of course, as a joke. I never oh, thought you okay. would actually murder okay. me. <laughs> like, never did it's I say that It's still fucked up to say, regardless of whether or not it's a joke. Is it? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> that implies that you have some control of somebody's life after you birth them, and you don't. That's not You true. do. It, you don't. It's Especially their, for the first... You give birth to somebody, 15 they're years. their own human. You don't get to decide how they live the rest of their life. Well, for the first, definitely for the first five, you do. I think that is something that I find kind of weird in books that I don't personally understand. Yeah. Is whenever people, like, continuously go back. Like, I just finished reading this book where, like, it was kind of annoying to read, honestly, because she came from, like, a super rich family where her dad never loved her. Yeah. And she just, like... That was the whole book about her complaining about her life. It's just so hard. And she just wanted to be her own person and live her own life. But her dad's paying for her house in this town. Yeah. And uh, she doesn't have a job. And she can't She can't get a job, though, because she's too famous. Oh, my lord. And, um, she's famous for but what? But it's okay because a guy comes into her life and fixes everything. Oh, God. Yuck. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was just like, Ooh, Yuck. No, thanks. So she went from her parents doing everything for her to a guy doing well, everything Well, but for the guy did it out of love and respect, not because he thought she was incapable of taking uh, care of herself like her father. Eh. But she still needed to be saved. Yeah, that's kind of gross. I didn't like I didn't like the undercurrents of that. Yeah. Story. Or the story itself, really. I Why did you read it? The, oh, okay. Because I don't, I, just don't, I don't stop reading books unless they're, like, unreadable. I've only, like, not... I've only DNF'd, like, a couple books in my whole life. When you say stuff like that, it catches me, and I'm like, DNF, DNF, DNF. Did not finish. Did not finish. Okay, yeah. No, I figured it out, but I was like, I stopped. Well, you don't stop and I say lol. Well, I know what lol means. Yeah, it's the same thing. It's just an acronym. I know it's an acronym, but I have to figure out what it is. Why? Because I don't use context. those on a daily basis. But day. that's like saying that like every time you don't know a word, you stop and pick up the dictionary. No. Like you can't learn the word from the context of the sentence. Like I've no, only sometimes DNF'd. I can't. Really? I, sometimes, sometimes I can't. That was like, like you know, like the SATs, they ask you like, what's the meaning of this word based on this sentence? That was like my favorite question because it's so fucking easy. I was like, oh, this is easy. I do this all the time because when you read books, you don't know 90% of what's in there, but you just got to figure it out. <laughs> that, that was a lot of like reading Harry Potter was like, I don't actually know the definition of this word and what it is, but I know from the context of how it was used what this is supposed to be. Okay. That's all, because Harry Potter is British. You know? Ah, gotcha. Gotcha. Interesting. Although it's probably the least British of a book written by a British person, because it's the least way. British. Well, yeah, because like almost within the first chapter of any book, I can tell if it was written by a British author. Really? Because there's always something that I'm like, that's not the right word or how you use that, <laughs> or the way they write is just slightly different. Interesting. Like, just enough for me to notice. I did not know that. <clears throat> I don't read a whole lot of British. My one thing I learned, my one new thing I learned today, like learning new British things. people speak differently than English. No, that they write differently. I didn't know. I know they spoke differently, but I didn't know their writing was different as well. Although I will say one of the things I hate when that writers do is when they insert text or they put <clears throat> they write words out. As if it was in an accent. So they'll like change what? the lettering to match uh, the accent or cut yeah. off letters. Just just yeah. tell me just tell me it's a Scottish accent. You don't yeah. need to be like cutting like just stop. 
Because it just, it makes it so, <laughs> he like... He had a cool Scottish accent, you know, something. It just makes it so gimmicky. I'm yeah. like, it makes it harder to read, too. Especially if you already have a problem with reading, which I don't do. But yeah. I know there are people out there that already have problems with reading, like, normal text on a page. So then you add in, like, chopping out letters and, like, putting in all these, like, symbols into words. And it's like, this is completely unnecessary. You did this just because you could. And why be difficult? Why? Just say he had a Scottish accent. Right. Because then at that point, I get to choose whether or not he has a Scottish accent. Right. Because you always, because, I mean, like, I'll when you're reading it, you always have it in your... Well, 90% of the time, like, unless the author constantly reinforces what somebody looks like, right? I just ignore that. They look like what I decide what they look like. <laughs> I want the heroine to be blonde. She's blonde. I don't care if you said she had fiery red hair. Because I think it's dumb when they're like, she has fiery red hair, just like her attitude. I'm like, attitude? Well, just like her personality is fiery, just like her wow. hair. And I'm just like, okay. That's Could you not come up with it? Brunettes can have a fiery attitude. Oh, yeah. You know, like, it, their hair does not detect, <laughs> does not determine their personality. Like, that's just dumb. Uh, uh, I would if agree they with dyed you. it red, I would be okay. I like, it. okay, that makes sense. But it, have a ginger just be, like, Fiery? That's dumb. That's yeah. Bad thing. But I, I would... I know it's supposed to be, like, symbolic or whatever, but... I would agree. I mean, there's certain... A ginger is way more likely to be, like, uh, people-pleasing and keep to themselves because they already inherently have so much shit thrown their way than they are to be, like, a fuck you, I'm gonna murder your whole family. You know what I mean? Well, I was going to say, like, redheads, and I don't know what this is. I have never gotten along with redheads. But I don't know if it's because they're redheaded or because of an attitude or... I don't know what it is. Well, always. It's... <laughs> I've known so many redheads that I don't think that I would attribute any personality I, characteristics to them having a red hair. That's I why I think it's so insane. Like, it is. Like just, Absolutely. Insane. If you're a writer and you're putting a female protagonist in, stop giving them red hair because they're uh, in your face, <laughs> fuck you personality. Like, just give them like dark black hair. It's fine. There you It'll go. Be fine. Yeah. It'd be fine. Because people like that don't want attention, and that's all they're gonna get is a redhead. Which is right. Redheads are so good at deflecting that attention or being mild about it. I, don't know. I have no idea. I. I think that, I watch them. you know, like, blondes have more fun and blondes are dingy. You know, I I don't know if it's true or not, but maybe a lot of blondes blonde, that I've like, met. Like, unnatural blonde, yeah. maybe. I don't know how many, like, natural. I don't know any natural blonde. I know a couple natural blondes. Natural ones? I don't know. I don't know if that. I do or not. Like, one. You can only think of one person. One? Really? Yeah, he has naturally really light hair. Which I'm kind of jealous because whenever he like dyed his hair, he just had to like put some conditioner in oh. and blue. I'm just like, <laughs> <"That's the> <laughs> Unlike some people who have to like go through so many things I have just to, to literally get their... boil or <laughs> chemically burn off my skin. Yeah. So my hair can be a light enough color for me to put dye on it. Okay. But it's worth it. My hair looks great. Wow. Instantly, two pieces together. So easy. Three pieces together. <laughs> you know that took all the pieces. I don't know why I get... Why I put myself down all the time. It just is amazing to me. Mm. That I just... I don't know. Well, you're the one that took all the pieces. Uh -huh. You own this responsibility uh -huh. yet to get picked on now. Ah. Uh, it's your fault. Did I tell you we found out who the bully was at school? Yeah. Okay. I'm not happy that they're still there. Nope. You know what I was thinking though? Like, if if a kid is actively bullying other kids and you find out and you have like evidence, why don't they send like a therapist to that kid's home? Because you know something's going on. Just send somebody in to do it. But you do, don't. Like, no, do a wellness check. What is wrong with that? People who think that you're suicidal, uh, they can send cops to do a wellness check. Why isn't it the same thing? Because you with don't you? understand how that stuff works. Because if somebody is sent to do a wellness check, that means you're on the radar now. 
and you could get your Maybe kids taken away be. very easily. If their kid is beating up other kids and doing shit it's, to them, they should be on the radar. It's a fine line. They're already on the radar at school. What's the difference? Is it, that that's gonna be difference. on that kid's like record for the rest of his life that he was a punk in freaking fucking kindergarten and nobody? No, ever... it's not. And who cares what's yes you did in kindergarten? Is. Nobody. Are you kidding me? No, I'm what not. What you do in kindergarten is like a reflection of who you are, and it does like what? Him, like him getting picked on in kindergarten is going to follow him the rest of life, whether or not he notices that or not. It's just gonna be subconsciously he's gonna have a fear. That's why I'm so uptight about Oh, I thought you were talking about record, and I was like, what? No, not I don't give a shit. Oh, about okay. I thought you said it was record. gonna follow him his record. No. I was like, what? Like, being a bully is usually an out is a call for help usually and that's why it's so upsetting that nobody ever does anything whenever th we had bullies at the kinder or at the daycare because we absolutely did have three-year-old bullies yes it was always because they had fucking shitty ass parents who were not taking care of them or who were abusing them or who didn't get them the treatment they needed for their mental like problems like always without a doubt so like if we could have ever spoken to the parents, which we weren't allowed to do as a teacher, which... That's really... weird. Yeah, especially... Because you're the one that's taking care of them. We're the one that's in charge of their development. And right. We know when they're actually behind and their parents don't give a shit. But um, every single time, it should there should have been somebody sent to their house to do a wellness check. That's my opinion. As somebody who has worked in child care. Then you should have... I mean, being that's in child care, you should that's have, why I right? Quit. Because the system said that wasn't a thing, and I said, then I'm not going to be involved in this system. Because it was corrupt, in my opinion. And anytime you, like... I, I couldn't work with kids because systems were not put in place to take care of children. And I just... I, it was hurting my soul being in that kind of environment. Okay. It's so weird putting these pieces together because it's not nearly as like smooth and buttery yeah. as, as the last puzzle that we yeah. just did. I mean, it still goes in really well, and like, there's definitely no false fits. But like, man, that last puzzle is like putting in pieces. The only way I can like, describe it is buttery, <laughs> buttery smooth. I have to admit, and I don't Holly think... Carden knows how to. All puzzles should be made. That yes, way. I agree. She has definitely done her research on puzzle making. Because, man, that is my number one puzzle. Yeah, it was good. I want to do the rest of them. Yeah, I do too. But we now I kind of don't want to do the rest of them. Cause because I wanna... then it's going to be over. Yeah. Yeah. They're just so well made. <laughs> did you get the Karen Puzzles puzzle? I did. Well, I haven't gotten it in the mail, but yes, I ordered it. Yeah, um, people keep liking our comments to each other. And I'm like, what? You like what? Okay. And then I go back to see what it was, and it's mine and yours. Oh. And about ordering it? Well, about that, and about the, uh, whether or not to put the outside first, do the outside oh. first, or the inside <laughs> first. Listen, I'm right. So. And <laughs> I said agree to disagree. And they like my comment. Oh, on that video? <laughs> yeah. That's funny. <laughs> yeah, I got an email notification because I sent you my second book, you know? Yeah. And I got an email notification. It's like, Mom has put 43 notes on this. I was like, Oh! Okay. I'll look at so that after November. <laughs> No, I, that's what I fully expected. It was just so funny because it was like within an hour of sending it to you. I was like... I got through the first chapter. Oh, Jesus. So that's what I wanted to ask you was I didn't want to do this on camera because I didn't know oh, okay. if we wanted to talk about this. I'm not going to oh. say specifics, obviously. But so I feel really bad doing this. And oh, I'm like, does oh. she want me to really... Well, that's why I sent it to you, because I was like, if anybody's going to edit this book. Because I want you to do good stuff, and I want oh, yeah, you... yeah, obviously. I don't want to put out a shitty book any more than you want to read a shitty book. Well, but I feel so bad. This is why I, um, I didn't send you the first And book. now it notates every time I change something. I didn't know it sent you an email. Well, it just sent me one. It was just like okay, one with 43 changes. Like... <laughs> 
I'll look at because I almost opened it to no. be like, oh, I'll go and make those changes. I'm like, no, no, don't open that. I'm writing a book right now. Yeah. I do not need to go back and write the first one. I spent so much time on that second book, I need to move on. <laughs> I need it to be done. Because I've been thinking about the scenes in the third book for over a <gasps> year now. Third? And it's so frustrating because I'm sitting down to finally fucking write these scenes and words won't come out. Uh, I'm just like... Sorry. I've, been, I've had this scene in my head for over a year. <laughs> Why is it not on the paper? <laughs> I think, I think my biggest problem is, since I'm a reader and not really like a person who writes as often as, and I'm kind of out of practice in my opinion, Yeah. because I didn't do it for like 10 years, but I get frustrated with how long it takes to type out and write the whole thing, because yeah. my brain has already moved on to six things down the road. Well, and I will say some of the stuff, it's not you, it's, it's not... It doesn't sound like you writing. Yeah. Some of well, the stuff, and I, I'm like, mm, there is a problem, especially this is since strange. it took me so long to write the second book. Is you can tell that I started reading a different type of book. In yes, between. definitely. And definitely. That's one thing I need to go back and read definitely. through the whole second book, and that, that's why I kind of like Anarimo because I don't have enough time to read different books yeah. while I'm writing it, so I can't like mix in stuff that doesn't belong there. Yeah. Because I had to like go back. In that second book, there's several times I've had to go back and like rewrite a whole chapter because I did it in the wrong like tone, oh. not tone, yeah. but, like the wrong um, what was it called? Like, past and present, because the the way that I write, it's just so complicated. I don't know why. I just it, my brain defaults to writing in this uh, um, point of view, but I do um, present past oh. tense, third person. Yeah. Which is like one of the hardest ways to write, but that's how my brain thinks. So it just naturally flows out of me. And then sometimes I get so caught up in like, how do I do what words work here? I don't know. <laughs> but it's so hard. I'm like, nobody writes like, why do I write? Well, I, I can say that after reading a couple other kinds of books and then reading yours again, I'm like, Right. This isn't in first person. This is no. in third person. But I don't write anything. I tried to write because I've written another book um, last year on NaNoWriMo. I wrote a different book because I had to get it out of my head yeah. a little bit. And after doing 50,000 words, it's only like halfway through. <laughs> um, but that one, I tried to write in first person. I tried to force myself to write in first person. Yeah. Any kind of first person. And like halfway through the first chapter, I was already writing in third person again. So I just <laughs> it's just how my yes, how that's I how I your write. brain works. Mm. Moving on. It's weird. it's weird, but it works. Yeah. But it's it's weird because it's like a weird combination of uh, present first, present past tense. Right. Which is a more complicated past tense, and then not only is it, it's technically first person. But spoken in a third person. Like, it's not omniscient third person. So, like, she doesn't... Like, the way I write it is the, how she sees it, not how everybody is actually acting it. You know what I mean? Like, she doesn't know what he's thinking. She only right. can try to understand his, like, facial expressions. Or right. Whatever. Which is, of course, another more complicated way of writing stuff. Yeah, well... Can't do things easy. It just didn't make sense in my brain for her to know what he's thinking. Well, nobody whenever... knows what people are thinking. I know. I hate whenever I'm reading a book and they're like, I just know that he is mad, even though I met him two days ago. I'm like, <laughs> you don't know that. No I just know. Because there's some things that I let her know because, like, she's known them literally her whole life. Yeah. You know? So it's like, it's obvious that she would understand that he's, like masking or like right. pretending to be nice or whatever because she's known them her whole life but even still like there's stuff you can hide from your friends too so everybody o does obviously if you read the first book she hit <laughs> one of her friends hid something for a long time i can tell you that's the most annoying thing about this second book is the no! Not again! i know it's, it was so frustrating Within writing. I'm like, chapter. God damn it. I hate this character. <laughs> Actively writing. 
I hate it because I had to put in so many red flags that she wouldn't understand or see because that just made sense for the story. I was right. just like the whole time like, why are you doing this? <laughs> Man, the ending of that book. I think I need to go back and write more into that final like chapter, but the first chapter needs it jumps too fast for me. I'm like, wait, 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 what? Wait, yeah, what? I did write wait, it as if what? you had just read the first one because I hate. I also hate books that are like, I'm going to re-explain every. Right, and no, I don't like that either. I like a a good, quick Brief, summation, yeah. and jump in. But, Which is what I tried to do, but I right. think um, it got too. Yeah. It Which brief. I put a note. Yeah. But I just I felt so bad, and then now, or then, um your dad's home so I can't sit there and read and understand what I'm reading because sometimes I'll read it and I'll get down to like this next paragraph and I'm like wait what did that say and then I'll have to go back to the paragraph before and say okay this is why I don't understand what's going on because of this this and this yeah I'm in the same boat yeah probably should share more Um, yeah, I mean, honestly, you're reading the roughest part, or right? Roughest well, yeah, that and that's too, so, and I'm trying to be very critical because I mean, to me, that's what you should do on the first rough draft is be critical and then secondly, on first, but but yes, I mean, it's the first one I've seen, yes, and then the first, but the you're also my daughter, <laughs> and I want to protect you and protect your feelings. And so it's been very difficult. And, I mean, ugh. I mean, even if you said this whole this whole chapter shit, take it out, I'd be like, I'll decide that for myself. Yes. Thank you. So obviously, it's like that. obviously, that was the first. I think that was the first real, like, right. manufactured puzzle we did, didn't it? No, we we started with the spring box, so. We did? Yeah, the first puzzle we did was a spring box. Oh! I mean, we've we've always done okay. like name brands. We started expanding. No. This uh, this uh, started as an indie brand though. I guess they're not really indie though. No. Indie. Indie means like small creator. Oh, okay. Independent. Gotcha. I know that's how Blue Kazoo started, but I think they're kind of like yeah, they almost a name brand now. Yeah. They're, uh... But then again, they're not as big as, like, Ravensburg or Springbok. Right. So, I would consider, like, Springbok and Ravensburg to be, like, big box. Yes. I agree. And then... That sounds weird when we talk about puzzles, though, because you're just thinking <laughs> the box is bigger. No. Uh, but you know what I mean. Oh, I saw somebody who... Uh, somebody that I follow on TikTok that got the 60,000 piece puzzle. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm excited. Is that the largest now, or yes. was there a 64? No, that's the largest now. I'm excited. Dang, that's crazy. On it's expensive. No, it's oh, on. Uh, it's, expensive. it's like three grand, isn't it? Or something. Yeah, crazy. it was something crazy. But no, it's on uh, Instagram. I've started following a bunch of uh, puzzle people on Instagram, mm -hmm. and they're following me back and liking my stuff so that's like i have a lot of nail people on my instagram yeah i think that's one of the reasons why i haven't posted any like other videos because my instagram is basically beauty yeah which is weird it's weird because like my tiktok is very much you can be different my tiktok is very much uh like amalgamation of all my other ones but usually my social media is very split up like my instagram is nails and makeup and then my twitter is very much D and video games and then, do I have any other social media? I don't think <laughs> I used to have more social media. I don't have it anymore. Tumblr is very fan of me. I don't get on Tumblr or Rumble. I don't or... really get on Tumblr much anymore. I get on. I don't. It, after they changed a bunch of things on Tumblr, it just doesn't feel like the same yeah. site from back in my day. Oh my lord. It's TikTok used to be pretty much just all book stuff, but now it's kind of like a lot of my TikTok right now is witchy stuff, which I'm not mad about. Just ran right across the witchy stuff person, and I was like, weird. 
Well, it's because Halloween, everybody gets... And if you're... If you comment on something, I found out. So if your friend that you're mutual friends with um, comments on something, then that will show up on your friend's page. For you page. I was like, oh, I don't like that. (laughs) I don't want everybody seeing what I write. I don't really know where to start. I don't either. I was just kind of looking, digging for pieces. I don't know how to... I kind of feel like this is where the puzzle actually begins. Yes. This one is going to be. I think I'm going to take the light, though. (laughs) You're so cute. You love it. I only turned on half of the heater, so no demand. Okay, and I have this piece, but it could be a middle. So I have all these that are outers, but yeah, not really yeah. outers. Maybe hey, what's the two ends? Okay. Let's just kind of dig in to see if we can find dark side of the moon. I don't know why, but I thought of Mulan first before Ozzy. Mulan? Is it Black Sabbath? Black Sabbath. It, is it Ozzy or Black Sabbath? I think it's Black Sabbath. It's the same, technically. He's so excited. He's so excited. The moon. <laughs> He's like, this is really exciting. Why is it taking them 10 hours? <laughs> He's going to be so disappointed. <laughs> well, I guess we better hurry up and get this done. I mean, gotta, okay, okay, okay. I was going to look up what... Okay. Pink Floyd? <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> completely <right>. wrong. <laughs> I think the only reason I thought it was Ozzy is because of the whole bat thing. But like, <laughs> it's funny because I always think his music is really like hard music, and then I go it's, back and listen to it, and it, it was literally bad. just '80s rock, and it's just like, yeah. oh, that's nothing compared to what I listen to now. I think. No. And it was because I, I mean, I didn't even really listen to that much metal, but it was a hair band, head banging hair band. Which is funny because that seems so soft to the stuff I listen to yeah. now. Well, it's funny because back then we couldn't understand half of what, or I couldn't understand half of what they were saying. You had to get the little booklets that came with the album. Can I say, honestly, that's one thing I miss so much about music, is instead of like having like a, like a book essentially of their lyrics, (laughs) you have to go look it up on the internet, which is less exciting and probably not always 100% accurate. Well, it should be. But that's what I would always do. As soon as I bought a CD, I would pull out the lyric book. (laughs) And I would just sit there and read through the lyrics so I knew the words. Did you do it while you, while the song was playing? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. I did the same thing. It was, but, like, it was like choir class when you got your thing to play yeah. the song. So, see, there's so many little things. Oh, there's, there's a lot. That the little things. kids are going to, or little kids, that kids are going to miss out. Oh. It's different now. There was a song that came out and the artist was like, I like not releasing the lyrics as soon as the song comes out because I like to see what people hear. And Uh, I was like, that's kind of cool.